Hey what's good guys, it's Zach, hope you all are doing well. So here I've got my T-Mobile Galaxy Note 5 and I do have the official version of Android 7.0 Nougat running on it. So we did get word that the Nougat update would be coming for the T-Mobile Note 5 pretty soon and uh, it hasn't actually come out as an OTA update just yet, as of the recording of this video at least, but there actually is a way to manually flash it yourself if you are impatient like I am. I'll go ahead and link the article that I found this in as well as the instructions on how to get this on your Note 5 manually in the description below, so make sure you check that out if you have a T-Mobile Note 5 and you wanna get the official version of Nougat running on your device as soon as possible. Now we've had Nougat running on the international version of the Note 5 for quite some time, and it's just now starting to come out to uh, carrier versions of the Note 5 and of course T-Mobile, the most recent one. And I found this whole thing very interesting because this is the latest Note that's out right now. So with it having the latest version of Android is huge. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the differences here now that we've got this Note 5 running Nougat. So uh, I guess the first thing we'll look at is as I knock over one of my Android guys, I guess I'll go ahead and start off with the multitasking. So of course we've had multitasking on Samsung phones for a long time. And I have to lift my phone up here because the stand actually does cover the buttons. But uh, we have had multitasking on Samsung phones for a long time. But of course, now with 7.0, it is more uniform as far as the rest of the 7.0 devices go. And it's a lot easier to use now. Uh, it's a lot less um, finicky, I guess you can say. So there you go. You just swipe up to adjust the window size. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple. You guys know how that goes. And of course, you can do things like... Um, Let's see, let's let's try this. If I drag this down here, it gives me this little window down here. I mean, you, you guys have seen stuff like this before. It's not too new, but it has been refined and it is a lot easier to use now, which is great. And then of course, if we take a look at the home screen here, we do have a few differences here, different, slightly different icons. We have transparent folders. We also have transparent background here in the app drawer, which is really nice, a lot cleaner and just better looking overall. And then of course we have the search bar up top. So everything's looking nice and clean here. We, okay, we also get, okay, we also get one of my more favorite features if you guys know me you already know where this one is going double tapping the recent apps button to jump quickly back to your most recently used application i use this quite a bit on you know my pixel and pretty much all of my other devices now that most of them have 7.0 and so, uh, yeah, I mean, it works really, really well. And I gotta say, it works especially well on the Note 5. In fact, I think it might be faster than the S8. Okay, so maybe not. Okay. Maybe I just didn't expect it to be that fast on the Note 5, but it is pretty quick on the Note 5, as you can see. We also get the updated, better looking camera user interface, which is really, really welcomed. I like the interface here. It's really nice and clean. It's gesture based. And then you swipe down to get to your front facing camera. You got your modes over there. You have your filters over here. And everything is spaced out really nicely. You got all your settings and whatnot. Very, very easy to use. And uh, I gotta say, I will say that the camera on the Note 5 is still no slouch for it being such an old phone. Uh, you know, by today's standards, it still does its job and it does a great job. So uh, yeah, everything is looking nice here in the camera UI. And if we swipe down here from the top, we do get to our quick settings or much cleaner quick settings. And if you notice, everything is very fluid here. Everything is really nice and smooth from when I was bouncing in between applications, opening up the camera, uh, swiping down from here. It's very clean, very smooth. Of course, we get what we have on our current devices right now, like the blue light filter for nighttime usage, making the screen a little warmer, which is cool. And of course you can adjust the actual warmth of the display there, my goodness. <laughs> and then now uh, let's see, you can go ahead and uh, check out the performance mode. It pretty, pretty much maxes out uh, the whole phone. It pretty much maxes it out. And uh, we'll take a look at the fact that you can actually change the screen resolution like you can on the current Galaxy devices. It's cool that they brought it here to the Note 5 as well. Power saving mode, we also have all of the power saving modes that we've seen before, which is really, really cool. So it's really nice to see that a lot of what we have on the newer devices uh, can be run here on the older Note 5. So I'll go ahead and take a look at the settings here. I'll go ahead and compare it to the settings here on my S8. And as you can see, it is the same thing. It is pretty much the same thing. So uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Got your icons here on the left-hand side and more descriptions as far as the categories go. And uh, I mean, we have the display stuff here. So in the display, we can now change our screen resolution. It is now default set to full HD 1080p. And of course we can max that out to the full 1440p. So let's go ahead and apply that. And we get everything else like you would expect all of our other settings here. Let's go ahead and take a look back here. We have device maintenance now, so we can clean out junk and monitor our battery performance and all that stuff. 
keep our storage nice and clean so that's cool there then of course we have wallpapers and themes there we have advanced features i'm getting notifications on my other phone but there we go we have a whole bunch of stuff here and uh, everything is just really nice refined updated and it's working really well here on the note 5 and of course i haven't really used this as my daily in a long time but i have to say it is really nice to see some of these features here on this older phone and, uh, and it's stuff like this that really makes me want to say you know what if you haven't yet you can actually pick up one of these phones for maybe around 300 350 maybe even less and get some of the newest features here and as you can see it runs really well and lastly i'm going to go ahead and run through a couple of the changes uh, with the s pen here i think we've had magnify for a little while uh, but we do have glance here which is pretty cool so i'm going to go ahead and drop that in there and a uh, glance what we can do here is let's go ahead and hop into oh i don't know let's go ahead and hop into settings again all right so settings right there you know what we can do is we can hit the glance button it'll minimize it uh, we don't necessarily open it from here but what we do is like i can't open it you can drag it around which is cool but if i were to hover the s pen directly over it it'll open it up and if i take it away it'll minimize itself again which is really cool i actually didn't really use this um before <laughs> with grace ux on the note 5 if you guys remember i posted a video about this on the xda channel quite a while ago um, but i didn't even use it on the note 7 but uh, it is a nice feature to have uh, so, you know, it may not be for everybody, but since it's there, it's, it's kind of cool to have a useful feature like that. Uh, so there you go. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. So the Note 5 has been updated. This is the T-Mobile version, of course. And uh, that's pretty much all that I can think of. But it's really nice. I, again, I cannot stress how nice it is to have... Uh, older devices running newer software so that pretty much does it. if you guys have any questions if you guys would like uh, you know a, a years later look at the note 5 or something like that then uh, let me know i've i've had a soft spot in my heart for this 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 phone i've always really liked this phone so anyway that does it for the video thank you guys so much for watching again check out the description where i have listed the article where i found that you can actually manually do it and of course the instructions as well will be down there so again thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next one See you guys later.